Hi, I'm going to let you know what you need today to celebrate tomorrow, to celebrate today. So let's celebrate together today for tomorrow. Come on, let's go. Today is Bunsen Burner Day. I didn't say butts and burner, Tavin. I didn't say butts and I didn't say burns. I didn't say your butt burn. Bunsen Burner Day. B-U-N-S-E-N. Bunsen Burner. You know what a Bunsen Burner is, right? You've heard of that. All you science geeks, you know what a Bunsen Burner is. They're used to heat things up for science experiments. Well, this device was actually invented by Robert Bunsen and Peter DeSaga. The old way that they were doing experiments weren't heating things up properly, and they were leaving a lot of soot behind. So Bunsen and DeSaga got together and designed the Bunsen burger, and designed the Bunsen burner in 1854. It generated a hot, sootless flame that helped with their science experiments. What do you think you could invent today to help science be more sciencey? That's not really a word, but I'm gonna create it. It's also crayon day! Oh my gosh! Oh, the smell of crayons. You know, in a fresh box, I love a fresh box of crayons. And I love the big box of crayons with the 64 different colors. You know, the seven shades of blue and the six shades of red and the 10 hundred shades of white. Right? You know what I'm talking about. My son Josh loves crayons. When he was a kid, he loved crayons. And when he was really sick in the hospital a few years ago, that's what he wanted. He wanted crayons in a coloring book. And that's what he got, crayons. Crayons are so much fun. It's also prom day. Are you going to the prom tonight? Remember promposal day? Did you ask her out? Please say you did. Please say you're going to the prom, please. If you're going to the prom, I hope you have such a good time. But remember, you're going home right afterwards. Do you understand me? I'm still in control. A day doesn't give me the right to be in control. I am just in control every day. I hope you have figured that out by now. You are going home after the prom. When the prom is over, it's home. There are no questions to be asked. You go home, okay? I already told you that or daddy's picking you up, dragging you home after the prom. Things happen after the prom and you are not doing those things, okay? So go to the prom, have some punch, Dance a couple dances and keep your hands to yourself and then go home. Have fun at the prom. I just ruined it all. <laughs> this is a special day for my husband. He absolutely loves tater tots. I've told you that I love potatoes. Yeah, okay, this is where I contradict myself. I know. I don't like tater tots. They're little chunks of potatoes just clopped together and deep fried. I mean, I like the deep fried part. Don't get me wrong. I like the crispy outside because it's like a hash brown. No, I like hash browns. But a tater tot, forget it. What's with that? No. Now, I don't want a tater tot just by itself. I'll do a tater tot casserole. My friend Robin, who's watching this right now, I know. Get all the fixins for that tater tot casserole because today is the day to make it, okay? Because it's tater tot day, Robin. That was the best casserole ever. It tasted like Big Star. I don't know how you did it. And if you're from Kenosha or Racine, you know what I'm talking about. You know that casserole had to be good, okay? Tater tot day. I know Jared is running to the store and he is so excited to get tater tots tonight after work for tomorrow because we're doing this today for tomorrow, right? Ugh, I'm so confused. Aren't you confused? It should be I'm confused day, not tater tot day. Okay. There is another observation today. Clams on the half shelf. <laughs> Clams on the half shelf. I'm just gonna be sick. That and tater tots. Really? That's what I get today for food? I'm done, I'm really done. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go get some crayons because I feel unsafe and I need to do something to make me feel safe from clams on a half shelf and tater tots. I'm serious. I need cramps and coloring and therapy and Play-Doh. There was no
no good food today. Nothing. And I'm not going to the prom. I don't have a prom. So if you're going to the prom tonight, be good. Be a gentleman, boys. And girls, be a lady. Modest dress. Collars up to here, okay? Skirts below the knee. I want to see none of that junk in your trunk. I don't. Keep it in the trunk, that junk. All right, be blessed. And I will see you tomorrow. Celebrate today and everything it has to offer. And celebrate you because you're worth it. Go home after the prom.